Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a tank game in scratch. This is the part 2 of this tutorial. These are the same costumes we used in our previous part, except these new enemy costumes that will make our game more lively. Now, in our enemy tank sprite, instead of one type of tank showing up every time, Let's change it to randomly any of the three tanks I have with me. We will take the switch costume block, switch costume from pick random 1 to 3. You need to add this block in the part of the code where the tank is generated or is spawned. Also change the time duration over here from to pick random 1 to 3 seconds. Now different locks should have different specialities too, isn't it? We will change the health of the enemy tank depending on the costume that is spawned. If block, if costume number equals to 1. Then drag this code here and we will do the same for costume number 2 and 3. Do it for as many costumes you have. In this case I have 3. So if costume number equals to 2, change it to 2 here. And we will also change the long side values here. Set opponent health to 2. And we can make the player enemy tanks slow or fast. Glide 6 seconds to play it in costume number 1 and costume number 2 set opponent health to 4 and glide 4.5 seconds to play. Now if block if costume number equals to 3 then drag the same code here and then we will change the values. Set opponent health to 3 glide 3 seconds to play. You can change the values as you want. Now different costumes should have different colors to identify with. So in this case, I have three color codes. Yellow, that is 20. Orange, that is 10. And zero, that is the original red color. Now for the costume number one, I'll be keeping it yellow. Set color effect to 20. Costume number two, set color effect to 10, that is orange. And costume number three, set color effect to zero, that is red original. To make a coin system, let's start by creating a new variable called coins. Okay. If if block from controls equals to block from operators, if costume number equals to 1, that means the first costume, we'll change the coins variable by 1 from the variable section. Change coins by 1. Now duplicate this for costume number 2 also. We will changing the number of coins upon this costume that is killed. If costume number equals to 2, change coins by 2. If costume number equals to 3, change coins by 3 in this case. Now drag all this code the moment before the enemy tank is killed or the health goes down the limit. Now we will go to the code above, when the flag is clicked, set the coins variable to 0 in the beginning. So far in our game, all the enemy tanks spawn from the right side of the stage, which is too predictable and makes our game boring. Now if we change the code so as to get the enemy tanks randomly from any corner or side of the stage, it would be unpredictable and will make our game more interactive and interesting. First, we will create a new variable called enemy tanks origin. Okay, and hide it from view. Now, in the code where we clone our enemy tanks from a particular x and y position, add this block. Set enemy tank origin to pick random from 1 to 4. We will take if block from controls. If we we'll go to operators equals to symbol and variables if enemy tank origin equals to 1 then go to x that would be a between position from minus 240x to 240x and y would be a fixed position that is 180 in this case the tank will spawn 
from the upper side of the stitch. Duplicate this. If enemy tank equals to 2, go to X that will be a fixed position, 240 this time, and Y a varying position from minus 180 to 180. This time the tanks will spawn from the right side of the stage. If enemy tank origin equals to 3, go to X, pick random that for your varying position minus 240 to 240 and Y minus 180. This time the tanks will be spawning from the low side of the stage. If enemy tank origin equals to 4, go to this time X would be a fixed position and Y would be a varying position. X would be minus 240 and Y pick random from 180 to 180. Change the first one to minus 180. This time it would be generated from the left side of the stage. Add it below the code will it pick randomly from 1 to 4. Also. Don't forget to remove this unnecessary go-to block that was used earlier. Now let's make the stage view neat by neatly placing the variable readouts. Your wish if you want to change this coin's variable readout to a large readout by having a symbol representing it. Let's check out our project so far. So, if you like the video, do not forget to leave a like and a comment behind. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to receive more such videos and tutorials. Bye, meet you next time.